Welcome to Tuts Plus. My name is Jose Mota. In this course, we'll learn how to deploy a Rails application using Docker. Docker is a state-of-the-art tool that allows for easier deployment. You're going to figure out how it works in this course. As far as the Rails application goes, we're going to build a very simple one. We're going to include a couple of models and a standard set of migrations that will serve as a proof of concept to connect to a database. We're going to focus our attention on building a Docker image that will support a Ruby environment, such as including all of the software packages, a Ruby version, and a database. The database will be included in a separate container, as you'll see in the middle of the course. Most likely, you are interested in using Docker already. I have found some strong points about using Docker. The first one is isolation. The entire application infrastructure is centered in an isolated container. The same way data doesn't get leaked out, it also doesn't get leaked in. The isolation that Docker provides is outstanding. You only expose as much as you want to, and you will see that once we start connecting all of the images together and expose a certain port for us to navigate through. The other great thing about Docker is portability. Throughout my experience, I could tell that it was really easy to port the environment from one machine to the other. Through the use of the Docker file and a standard set of scripts, we will be able to replicate the environment over and over again. And last but not least, I think Docker is outstanding because of the standard deployment settings. The Docker file is a tremendous asset. It allows you to specify how you want your system to look like, what tools it will have, and how it should behave once you run the Docker container. You document the entire set of operations in order to make your machine work from top to bottom. I hope you're excited to learn about Docker. Let's just go ahead and jump right to the next lesson. We're going to learn how to install Docker.